Are you afraid of reaching your deathbed and regretting the choices that you made or didn't make? I'm Bronnie Ware and for several years I sat by the bedsides of dying people. The conversations shared were personal, life-changing and enormously insightful. I share those conversations more in detail in my memoir, The Top Five Regrets of the Dying, because those conversations changed my life and they may do for you too. The dying people told me, I wish I had lived a life true to myself, not the life other people expected of me. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. I wish I'd stayed in touch with my friends. And I wish I'd allowed myself to be happier. What if we could all arrive on our deathbed free of regrets? What if we could lose the harsh judgment that causes regret and turn it into compassion for our humanness instead? What if we could set others free by not judging them and seeing them as doing the best they can as who they are right now, just as we are too? What if we all decided to be happier, to focus on simplicity and connection and things that make our hearts happy instead of competition and lack and fear and all the things that hold us back from being our truest, happiest self? What if we gave ourselves and each other permission to do all that? To have courage, to feel safe in expressing our feelings, to go where our hearts guide us, to learn how to be kind not just to others, but to ourselves as well. What if we encouraged each other to be courageous and vulnerable? Let us support each other to create regret-free lives. Let us be courageous together.